Hey, I'm Brian Vest, uh, Executive Director here at the Kane Halter Family YMCA, and I just want to say thank you for choosing the Y for your children to spend their time this summer. Uh, we have a great summer in store for camp, uh, great plans in place to keep your kids happy and safe, and uh, give this community a dose of exactly what everyone needs. A little bit of normalcy, lots of fun, lots of friendships and connections. Uh, obviously, our, our staff will put that safety in the forefront of everything that we do, um, and we want to thank you for trusting us with the ability to serve you and your family this summer. So look forward to seeing you soon and uh, stay tuned for more information. Hi, I'm Jamie Johnson, Operations Director here at Kane Halter YMCA. Uh, our theme this summer is We've Got the Magic and we are so excited and ready to make some magical moments for you and your family. We look forward to seeing you guys soon. Hey, it's Miss Madison. Hi, my name is Christina. Hi, Kane First, it's Miss Kayla here. Hey, this is Miss Laura. Hi, I'm Miss Shanky. Hey, I'm Miss Megan. Hey, it's Mr. Michael. Hey guys, it's Miss Kaylee. Hi guys, it's Miss Lisa. What's up, y'all? It's Mark. Hey guys, I'm Miss Deja. Hey everyone, it's Miss Katie. Hey, my name is Kendra. Hey, it's Rivers. I just wanted to say Hello see everyone, you. I'm Errol. Hey guys, um, I'm Erin Monroe. I am the director of child care here at Kane Halter, and I'm so excited for the summer. And I'm Stephanie Bennett. I'm the assistant director here at the Kane Halter YMCA, and I am so excited to have all of you back here. We've missed everybody so much, and we can't wait to have a magical summer. Woo all right, so we want to address the elephant in the room. So the first thing we want to talk about is cleanliness and safety. So we know that making sure that we are staying clean and healthy is gonna be our top priority this summer. And we wanna make sure that you understand the kind of the steps that we're gonna take mm -hmm. in order to make that happen. And so one is that we're gonna have staff that are dedicated completely to cleaning. And so their only job throughout the day is gonna be going around and cleaning high surface areas or high traffic surface areas so that they can clean doorknobs and things like that. Um, you will also be getting, um, either you already have or you will be getting a supply list from us yes. so that your child will need to bring their own materials because one thing we'll be focusing on is not sharing materials. So your child will have their own markers or crayons that they use, um, their own paper, their own um, t toys that they will play with. So they will not be sharing materials with other children. Yes, and then we're also going to be practicing social distancing. So if you can join us in talking about that, we're going to be making sure that our kids understand the importance of why we want to make sure that we are distanc distancing ourselves from each other and why it's important for us to make sure that we all help each other stay safe. So this year, Rides In will look a little different than it has in the past if you've been here before. So when you get here, you will follow the signs to where you need to drop off your child. Um, once you get to your counselor, the counselor will take your child's uh, temperature once they get out of the car and you will be asked a series of questions. Um, once you have passed our health screening, then your child will go to the group and you will be free to go. But we do need you to stay until your child's temperature is taken and all the questions have been asked. Those questions will be listed in your parent handbook this year. And um, as soon as you answer the questions once or twice and you're familiar with the questions, it'll be simple like, you know, hey, anything changed from yesterday kind of thing. Um, but before then, make sure you're planning just a few extra minutes for uh, drop off so that we can kind of accommodate for that time that it's gonna take. All right, so now let's talk about what you'll need to bring this summer. Um, so just like normal, you're gonna need to bring, pack a lunch for your child with a healthy snack um, and make sure to include a water bottle. If your child has um, trouble keeping up with that water bottle, it can be just a throwawayable one, but we're gonna be refilling those water bottles all the time. And make sure you pack a change of clothes. Um, we will let you know beforehand if you need to pack a bathing suit for water days. Um, but it's always helpful to have that change of clothes because your kids will be getting dirty this summer. Yes. And then another really important one is sunscreen. So with our health guidelines that we're going through, we're going to be outside um, all, a lot of the day. So we're going to try to be outside as much as we can as long as it's safe and healthy. Um, but that is right now the best thing for us to do. And so make sure you're including sunscreen. It does have to be the spray on sunscreen. We encourage you to add sunscreen. Um, to your routine in the morning, and then we'll, we'll help apply the spray sunscreen, but that will also need to be included. And then make sure your child is wearing uh, closed-toed shoes. So no flip-flops, because they will be running around a lot. 
um, and we want to make sure they're staying safe. Um, if you want to pack flip-flops for water days, that's fine, but during the day we prefer they wear closed toe shoes. Yes. And then as mentioned before, there's a supply list this summer. Um, if you can help us with um, providing some of those things that are on that supply list, and that's awesome. If you can't, just please reach out to us. It's not a problem. We can help with that. Um, but like we said before, we can't share materials, so making sure we have those things on the supply list will help with all the things we get to do this so summer. So we talked a little bit about rides in. Once your child gets here, we will move to opening ceremonies where we'll have some really fun activities for them um, as, a, as a, either a huddle group or as a camp. So then after opening ceremonies, we're going to jump into huddle group time, and this will be an opportunity for our counselors to get to know your kids. Um, there'll be some things that are on theme for the week. There'll be some things that are off theme, some devos, some character development, things like that. Then next, we have something really cool this summer called Choice Activities, where on Mondays, your child can pick the activity that they want to do for the week, and then Tuesday through Friday during the morning, that's what they will go do. So if your child's really uh, passionate about basketball or about arts and crafts, they can pick the activity they want to do in the morning for the rest of the week. Yeah, then that jumps us into what we're calling Why Kids Learn. We're super excited about this this summer. We recognize the need that some kids are going to be jumping into the next school year um, with having missed this last quarter of school. And so even our rock star people who are at home and just killing it with the e-learning stuff, we know that our students are going to need some extra support here. So we're working with some certified teachers that are on staff with us, and we're going to create some curriculum for our kids to go over during that time so again we're calling it why kids learn it's going to be some transition from the last group or last year that they were in into the next year school year that they can get ready and prepared for and then our next favorite activity is lunch because we're all really hungry so they will <laughs> eat in their huddle groups um, they will not be with other kids in other huddle groups um, but they will be starving so we're gonna feed them <laughs> Make sure to pack your lunch. <laughs> then we're going to jump into kind of some block rotations in the afternoon. That includes um, time for reading and enrichment and then some rec time as well. That's when we're kind of throwing all those things in there. And then after that, the day is over. It is time for rides out. So uh, we'll get your kids ready for you and you will come pick them up and then we'll see them again the next day. Yeah, two things we kind of want to address, um, questions that we're getting, is that this year, unfortunately, we are not adding field trips into our daily schedule so we can't put kids on a bus. Um, so unfortunately, we've had to take that out. However, we are going to incorporate some um, it kind of exploratory time is kind of what we're calling it. Um, we kind of went on the theme of the, the magic school bus. Um, so we're going to be adding some uh, extra activities in there to kind of fill in that, that space. Um, and we also want to point out that at the moment we are not able to swim. Um, right now we can only provide lap swimming and so we can't do that in camp. And so um, as soon as those things are lifted though we do have plans to get that back in there. But that's kind of what the daily schedule is. joining us for this parent orientation video and we are so excited for the summer. If you have any questions or concerns um, about stuff that maybe we didn't go over, please feel free to reach out to either me or Erin. We'll be happy to answer any questions. The email you can reach us at is chyfs at ymcagreenville.org. Yeah.